good morning year four hopefully you have been enjoying english so far and you've had a great weekend so today we're going to do something a little bit different now so over the last couple of weeks we've been doing um about how to train your dragon and i've been giving you different tasks to be getting on with some days you've been writing speech other days you've been um finding the the meaning of words and other days you've been writing your own sentences and we've been building up towards doing writing our own piece of description so today we're going to start looking at that and we're going to think about planning our description and our description is going to be about a cave so we've been doing some sentences already about caves so we're going to focus on describing caves and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today so by Wednesday you should have written a descriptive piece on describing a cave today which is Monday we are going to be looking at planning that I'm going to give you ideas of how you can plan that and then on the Tuesday we're going to write about going through the tunnels in the cave and on Wednesday you're going to write about the cave itself so by the end of Wednesday you'll have two paragraphs about the cave so like I say we'll start by thinking about what we need to include in our work so we've been doing a lot of work on adjectives and these are very important when it comes to writing pieces of description as the adjectives tell um, people more, tell the reader more about what you're describing. So it gives, it, it paints a picture for the student, sorry, it paints a picture for the reader. <clears throat> so this is what I think we should be including in the description. So it's got, like I say, we're going to have two paragraphs. Each paragraph needs to have four sentence at least four sentences you can do more if you would like that's fine but you need at least four sentences each day i'm going to tell you what each sentence needs to include and i will put that in today's planning as well so we need to think about how we can describe something so you already have some sense sentences that you've written about the cave you have already got a sentence about the tunnel in the cave you already have a sentence about the cave and you already have a bank of adjectives that you got together in the lessons so you can use those adjectives you have and put them in the plan for today but what I would like you to do is first of all think about the adjectives that you used last time and keep them in your head what I would like you to do now is have a look on the internet at what uh, uh, maybe some words you could use to describe a cave to get some more ideas and I would like you to write that on the worksheet so you can do that now just pause the video okay so hopefully you should have had a little look on the internet at some other words you could use to describe a cave and you should have written them down that's good because you now have more adjectives you had eight before maybe you have 15 maybe 20 now hopefully you have have a good amount of adjectives to use because these can all be used in your writing in the sentences that we wrote we used generally one adjective and when we're doing description it would be nice to use more than one adjective in a sentence because then it it gives more description sorry also what I saw when I was marking some of your work was in the adjective box you didn't just write one word or a hyphenated word words adjectives are one word normally people are writing more than one word so like three four words that's a phrase so now what I would like you to do is on your work on the on the in, on your worksheet I would like you to type some phrases you may use I'll put an example on there for you but some phrases you may use um, to describe the cave because that's a really good thing as well to think about so if you just write some phrases that you use to describe a cave put that on there now pause the video and have a go at that okay so you should be back now we have spoken about using adjectives and phrases to describe the cave and maybe at least more than one adjective in some of the sentences but also I found some of the sentences were very simple 
and we sort of need to expand on these. Does anybody know what you could use to expand a sentence? Just have a think about it now. What can you use to expand a sentence? Okay, so you've had a, you should have had a think about what you could use to expand your sentence. What you could use is conjunctions. We need conjunctions. This makes your sentence longer and more complex, which is great for the reader and is great when we're describing things. So, what we already know, we need to include adjectives, lots of them. We need to include phrases, if you want, you know, we have decided phrases, so add some phrases to help description. We also, also need to make sure we include conjunctions to make complex sentences. Also, you may want to, you, we are going to use, sorry, adverbs, because one of the sentences you're going to describe how you may move through the cave, because we did some work on Friday about adverbs, so I would like to see an adverb in there as well. Okay. Now, we need to think about what is actually going to go into the, the work. We know that we need four sentences and they all need to include adjectives and conjunctions to make them very descriptive. We need to have an idea of what we're going to write about. So, my, I think in the first paragraph we are going to write about entering the cave. So going through the tunnel, what it's like going through the tunnel. So I've said, uh, the, the first sentence we want to write is when you enter the tunnel. Then the second sentence that we can write is describing what you can see in the tunnel. So maybe it's narrow and twisty or, I don't know, um, very cold. I then want you to, in, in your... Sentence three, describe what the smell is like. What does it smell like in there? And sentence four, I would like you to think about how the you move. Maybe you might you might have had to move through the cave or think about another piece of description. So maybe saying how you're feeling or another piece of what you can see, or the colour. So like I say, sentence one needs to be when you're entering the cave, what you can see. Then it more description in, sen in, in sentence two. Sentence three about what you can smell. And sentence four, how you move or how you feel. So that's paragraph one. And paragraph one is describing entering the tunnel to the cave we also need to make sure that we're using punctuation correctly all your capital letters need to be in there all your full stops you also need to make sure you are using commas and you need your commas if you're using multiple adjectives one after other you need to use a comma between each adjective that you use and then finally on Wednesday's lesson, we'll be writing about the cave. When you're in the cave. So again, the first sentence, what's, what's it like when you, get, when you first get into the cave? Then, number two, sentence number two, what can you see? What's it like? Question three, how does it make you feel? How does the character, what, what do the characters, what do you think when you're moving around? And finally, in your final sentence, you could do about the you could do about the smell again because it may smell different, so you could think about that. And if you want to write more than four sentences, you are more than welcome to write at least more than four sentences. But we need at least by Wednesday, the end of Wednesday, we need one paragraph about the tunnel and one paragraph about the cave, and we need to make sure that they include all the things that I want them to include. So now what I would like you to do is get some ideas together of maybe what sentences you could use. Um, so that when you come to write and you have an idea of what you are going what you're going to use. So maybe what adjectives you're going to use in sentence one to or in all your sentences. 
what what it may smell like. You don't have to write the full sentences, but you just need to have an idea of what you're going to put in that sentence. So, I hope you enjoy getting on work on with your plan. I would like you to do that now. So pause the video. So hopefully you should have done, now done your plan. You should have a good idea what you're going to write about on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.